We all attend a lot of meetings at work. This tutorial will help you to learn how to schedule meetings and open meetings very quickly. We'll talk about downloading the WebEx productivity tools and some other tools that you'll want to have. Second is to create a calendar invitation in Outlook. Then how to schedule a recurring meeting. Let's say that meeting that's every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Then we'll talk about opening the meeting from Outlook itself. And last of all is how to create an instant meeting. First, let's talk about downloading the WebEx productivity tools and maybe one other that you want to make sure that you load. The first time you get your URL and your password to log on to WebEx as a host or presenter, you'll be greeted by this screen when you go into your first WebEx meeting. And it's going to ask you if you want to set up your WebEx productivity tools on your desktop. You should say yes to this. If by some chance you said later or you said do not show me this on the computer again, let me show you where else to find it. When you go into your WebEx site, you normally will be on a URL that has something like yourcompany.webex.com. Yours might be different than this if you buy this from an alternative buyer. There are four menus on the left. We're going to talk about the fourth menu, the support menu, and down to the downloads option. The downloads option is going to open up four possible downloads for us to put on our computer. One is the Meeting Center application, Productivity Tools, the WebEx Universal Toolkit, and the Recorders or Players. Let's take a look at each one of these at what they are and why they are important. Actually, the Meeting Center application, when you first go into WebEx, it will automatically download. So if you didn't download it before you opened your first meeting, don't even worry about it. The Meeting Center is that platform that you're looking at in the example that shows a place for you to load the slides on the left, shows our participant panel and the chat on the right. So don't worry about that one. You probably already have it. The second one, however, is very important. These are the WebEx productivity tools that allow you to schedule a meeting directly from Outlook. You can schedule a one-click meeting or an instant meeting, or you can actually schedule meetings in Outlook, both single meetings as well as recurring meetings. We're going to talk more about that in a moment. Third is the WebEx Universal Toolkit. This is a very useful tool to have. If you import documents into WebEx, such as in Share File, you will be able to save them with all the annotations afterwards. The same is true with whiteboards. If you go in and you create whiteboards and annotate on those, you'll be able to save those. When they are saved, they will have an extension that is a .ucf. UCF is a WebEx form of a PDF document, if you will. It just allows you to save all that annotated document that you can open up outside of WebEx or you can re-import back into your next WebEx meeting. It's a very useful tool, and you do definitely want that one. The last is the recorders or players. If you're going to be recording your sessions at all, you do want to make sure that you download this. Now let's learn how to create an Outlook calendar invitation. This is going to be one of the most time-saving tools that you have to get into a WebEx meeting. In Outlook, just go to the day that you want to schedule the meeting. Let's say we want this meeting on Thursday, November the 1st. You just double-click on that calendar day, and an invitation will open. Let's say this is a project planning meeting. In the subject line, you're going to type the name. In the location line, I usually will type WebEx, just so that people know it's going to be on WebEx. And if I'm covering more than one time zone, I usually just type and convert all the time zones here. So let's say it's going to be 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time, and that would convert in Mountain Time, where I am, to 1 to 2 Mountain St Standard Time. This just lets you double check and make sure that you've converted the times correctly. Then you go to your, your local time and you put in the time. If I'm in Mountain Zone, I'm going to put 1 to 2. And so I'm going to go find 1 and then 2 o'clock here. And this meeting then has the correct date and time. It will automatically, automatically convert to Eastern Time uh, when you send it. We also want to invite the attendees. And so I'm going to invite uh, my associate. And I'm going to incite, uh, invite myself. I don't have to invite myself. I'm just going to do it to have a second name on here. And so you got that done. The last thing we want to do is just add the WebEx meeting. And so you click up here. This is already set up. Uh, when you load those productivity tools, this will automatically set up for you. It's going to open another window. 
and it will just allow you to put in the meeting password, whatever that is. Let's make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it'll have all your audio and things configured. You need to check with your own tech support because this screen will be different in everybody's computer. And so you just click OK on that. This meeting is ready to go. Now you might be saying, where's the invitation information? Well, just watch. As I send this invitation, you're going to see it pop in there real quickly. There it is. And so now as you look at the calendar, that event is planned. When you want to see what the details are, you can go ahead and click inside and you can take a look at them and there are all the invitations. It's important to notice that the URL to get everybody in the meeting is going to be the same, but the directions on how to get in are going to be different. Yours is going to be to log on to the account as the host or presenter, but your attendees will see, receive an invitation that just says put your name and email in there and here's the password. And so they will have a slightly different form. So don't forward your calendar invitation to somebody else. You want to always be sure you formally add the names up here on the top and then send an update. You'll be able to say which individuals get the update. If you have a standing meeting that is every Monday at 9 a.m. in your time zone, you can also very easily set up a recurring WebEx meeting in Outlook. Let me show you how to do that. So I've already pre-populated another invitation with the name of the meeting. It's a weekly team meeting. Here it is on WebEx. I have the times and that would be um, Pacific time here on the third time zone. Let's say it's a different team. We have someone on the Pacific Coast. And the date starts Monday the 5th. And we want to set the time in there in your local time. Now, I'm Mountain Zone, so I'm going to set this for 9 a.m. and going till 10 a.m. or however long you want it to be. So the same part of the invitation we did before is exactly the same. Put all the addresses in there. Then you want to go up to the Recurrence icon and click on it. This allows you to just reinforce when you want this meeting to be held. So if it's going to be every Monday, um, every week on Monday, then and let's say we want it to go for 10 weeks. We just click here for 10 weeks. Or we can also click here and put an ending date like we're starting uh, right now on 11-15-2012. This might go till 6 um, 15, 2013. You can make the dates whatever you want. I'm going to make it 10 occurrences and I'm also going to click OK on it and I'm going to give this meeting a color so that uh, let's say it's the green project team. The last thing we want to do is go ahead and add that WebEx meeting and so I'm just going to click on WebEx. It will go ahead and bring up the dialog box that lets us put in the password you never want to use the word password, by the way, but I'm using it for this example. And again, this is all going to be created when you load those productivity tools. But anyway, you click OK. Again, the invitation does not show until you actually send it. And here it goes. And so as it sends, you'll see it just briefly flash here. And then if we reopen it, uh, we'll see it again. You see now you can see that this weekly team meeting just goes ahead and is scheduled right on into 2012. And so for the 10 weeks exactly as you wanted it. And you can go in and extend those dates if you so desire. But it's a real easy way to manage those recurring meetings. Nice, isn't it? Now let's look at how to open your WebEx meeting from an Outlook invitation. Let's say today is November 1st. Here's the day of our meeting, and it's getting time for the meeting to start. Just double-click on that calendar item. It will open up, and here is your URL to log on. Again, you will need, when you hit this URL, you'll need to give your logon name and your password as the host, and then you'll be able to be in the actual WebEx meeting. Your attendees will have different logon instructions. Pretty easy to do, isn't it? If you want to log on to a recurring meeting, you will double click on it and it's going to ask you if you want to open the occurrence or open the series. Just open the occurrence if you're going in that day to open that particular meeting and there we are again. The easiest meeting of all to schedule is an instant meeting in Outlook. Let's say you're on the phone with someone and they want to go into a WebEx meeting. It's just one click to get there. Let me show you. 
Well, I don't know about you, but my outlook is always open. And so if someone calls me and we need to get in an instant meeting, I just go right up here in Outlook and go ahead and click on that meeting. But you can be in any of the applications like Word or Excel, and uh, you will have the ability to go into a WebEx meeting from this menu as well. So let's review. We were learning how to schedule a WebEx meeting in Outlook, and there were five main parts to this training. You learned to download the WebEx productivity tools and also download that WebEx Universal Toolkit. They're both really high value. Then create the calendar invitation, the recurring meetings, opening the meeting from Outlook, and creating an instant meeting. Now that you know these five things, you know more than most about how to get your meeting scheduled quickly and easily in WebEx. We'd like to invite you to join our community. We have high value articles in our blog. We supply a whole series of video tutorials that are going to help you have better sessions. And we also have a wonderful newsletter that you might want to subscribe to. So the contact information is on the screen. Please join us. How to schedule a WebEx meeting in Outlook? Well, you now know more than about 90% of the rest of the world. And so you can get into your meeting fast. Please join us again for other tutorials. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner. I'm the webinar guru and look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.